Hey guys, welcome back to the BSG Automotive channel. Um, today we're working on a 2005 Jeep Liberty uh, that the wheel fell off. So there's some damage to the ball joint and stuff like that. And of course the wheel studs you can see here. Now I started taking these out and I figured I'd do a quick video for you guys to give you a couple different options uh, for pressing these out and for pressing them back in. Now as long as the actual hub flange, the face of it here is not damaged and um, the holes are not walled out. They're still nice and secure in there. We can just simply press these out and press them back in. You can see the threads are all damaged. It's best to just put new studs on there. So I have brand new studs from Dorman on here and they're a perfect exact fit and some new nuts, make it all new and right and tight. Uh, so let's get to it. Now there's a couple different options. The most easiest basic tool you can have around is a small mini sledge like this and you can simply tap them out, okay? Now it does put undue stress on the flange itself, but then again, you have to realize this is taking a lot of force with the weight of the vehicle and turns and all that stuff. So it's actually pretty darn strong. You just gotta watch it when you're striking it through uh, to make sure you're not cocking it and actually just beating the heck out of it. it should a couple taps and go right through like so with some safety glasses on. And you'll see it start to move like that. Now there's different parts in the back side here that the stud will not come all the way through. It'll pop through and come loose, but then you can't wiggle it out, okay? So this one, or about here and down here, um, it will come out. And this is gonna vary with you know different makes and models out there, but the procedure itself you know, is all the same. So right here, it's a little tight. So we'll push it back in, we'll spin it. Oh, let's see right here maybe. We've got the ABS in the way. So let's put it back in. And you'll find on yours where it's at. There's a little relief right here, right built into the hub. You could probably get it past there. It just depends. See right there, we can get past then again. This is really rusty. Uh, See, so it's kind of working around and you'll find it uh, where you can just get it out. It'll come right out of there. It just depends where it's at on here. Ooh. Well, not there either. Got to find that perfect, perfect spot. Now, on some of these vehicles, like I know a newer Fusions, we had problems with the studs. There's a recall on the lug nuts and stuff like that. And... Um, and those ones, there is no way to really get them out without pulling the whole hub and bearing off and getting it away from there. So we had to like cut reliefs in the shield. There was a, a dust shield here. Um, so you may have to come across that. Now, of course, this is not gonna come out on camera. Of course, of course, of course. But right about down here, it will come out. Got it. So we have it out of there. The hole is fine. Uh, no, so what we'll do now is we'll show you the same process with the preferred method, and that is using a ball joint press or tie right end puller like this. And this part will go around the outside of the head here, and we'll just press it on through. That way we're not stressing the flange on here. So as long as it goes around it on the back side here. And you have it nice and straight, we can simply press it out. So get started by hand, looks good. Let's get the impact on there. All right, so let's try this out. There we go. The big thing here um, is to make sure that these ears in the back side are not touching the head because then you're pressing upon yourself basically uh, you don't want to do that so this way it popped right through no stress in the flange here then again we start the process all over again of spinning this and finding that right perfect spot to get it out of there and like this one the biggest problem I have right now is all this rust built up that I actually grew on here so if you give a little tap, you know, you'll get past that, whereas by hand it's a little tough. Uh, but that's how you get them out of there without damaging uh, the flange here. 
Okay, now going back in, make sure your hole uh, that is actually pressing into is not damaged in any way, not walled out, and then we'll kind of just guide this back on through. Same thing with the rust here. We're gonna have to fight a little bit and just give it a little nudge, a little love tap, like so. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna, you know, center in there best we can. It's gonna be loose because it is a nice press fit on there. Now what you can do at this point is get a couple thick washers, slide them over it, and use a lug nut um, that is like a, a lug nut you don't want or need anymore. Um, that's the right thread because you're going to damage it, you know, keep tightening it down and setting all these. Or you can do what I do and I use uh, this lug nut installer right here, the stud installer from Lyle. And it's got a bearing in the back side, it has a cone, make sure everything centers in there is nice and straight um, and it'll press it in perfectly. So let's get a lug nut on there. I'm going to use one of my new ones because I'm just going to use it and toss it. I bought a pack of like 30. So what we'll do is we're simply going to get the right size on here, which I think is 19 mil. And we're going to get it on here by hand, okay? And what it's going to allow it to do is to center in here, and then it's going to center in here, and everything's going to be perfect and right for our tightening. Now you can either do this by hand and hold the hub somehow, or of course you want to use an impact. Just like so. And then we'll look on the back side here, make sure it's fully seated. And then you'll of course feel it really tight on there. At that point, with the splines that are on here, it should dig into the hub and, of course, not back off or loosen when you pull that nut off of there. And there it is. Straight as can be, nice and new, no damage to the hub face. And you simply repeat all the way around. It's a great cheap way to renew a hub uh, that has only, you know, damage to the studs and not the actual bearing or anything else on here. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you fix your car yourself. I'll see you next time, guys.